Good afternoon. Well, it's raining enough outside that I'm going to be a woos <laughs> and do a sit and talk, I suppose. And the reason I'm doing this, you know, I might otherwise skip it is because there are a couple of stories that are quite aggravating for those of us who think the law should matter and the Constitution should be followed. And the two provisions that I'm concerned about is one, that in the Department of Homeland Security, we had two top officers who somehow or other managed to delete their text messages. And I would guess that this shows a subversion, perhaps through the government at critical points that related to Trump's efforts to plan and accomplish a coup, which he did not. And so I think what we have to be concerned about is where else could this be true? And we have to be sure to prosecute so that there is an accounting, so that going forward, we start step by step to make a difference in terms of discouraging this misconduct, discouraging the autocrats, discouraging any talk about how we can take over the government and expect Trump or someone else to give us a pardon or a pass. But the second story is even more distressing to me. And it is the story about the Department of Justice. I said a long time ago that I was concerned that we spent so much resources chasing the rioters and we didn't spend uh, so much as a paralegal's time to figure out who was in the West Wing and who was on the Hill and who in between those two places were all involved in making possible the circumstances for the rioters to strike at the heart of our government, in the People's House, in the Congress. And we didn't do anything. And it almost became an argument that we had so tied up our resources, chasing, in a lot of cases, just misdemeanants, that we weren't getting after the real crime. And being a prosecutor involves prosecutorial discretion, which, which sometimes can mean ignoring a bad law that you think is unconstitutional before a court has considered it that. But in this case, when we have an historic and outrageous uh, crime against the state, by the effort to unseat the elected person Biden for the fellow who lost by millions of votes, and to do so in a combination of violence and trickery and lying about the fraud that didn't exist and misrepresenting what the law said to give some patina of legitimacy to what they were doing. So what do I see ahead? We have the Justice Department apparently saying, hey, you know, we don't have the resources to investigate Trump. We're going to have to get resources. Well, give me a break. It makes you think that the activity we've seen in recent days is really a PR plan without a substantive prosecutorial plan going forward. Yes, we served some subpoenas in Arizona, and yes, we had two of the vice president's staff in the grand jury, but we're is the rest of it. I think that we have to be on guard because this Justice Department, like ones before, without regard to what party is in power, doesn't seem to have found its way to prosecute the most historic crime in American history. The effort to commit a coup in America is just not, it's not allowable. The um, favorite Roman senator, whom I prefer, whose name is Seneca, he had this uh, statement, among many, he wrote a great deal, and it was that the fates either lead you to your destiny or drag you to it. The question is, have we dragged the Department of Justice by criticism for it doing nothing to a point where it feels it has to put on a PR show that it is doing something? Or are they ready? Have they been incited to perform their oath and obligation to the public to preserve and protect a constitution by bringing to justice those who would have overturned our republic and put in its place an autocracy. It's still a threat to America, and it's as much a threat because we don't do anything to those who we say are not above the law, but are always treated as if they are. So uh, I'm dry, I'm indoors. <laughs> And I may talk to you on the road tomorrow. But for now, that's it. Thanks for listening to me. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.